what's going on guys knife addiction 1890 here coming to you with another review today's review is going to be on another clone that i just picked up this one is the decepticon one with the stainless steel handles on it so i'll give you guys a 360 view on this thing before we go into the review as i always do and first impressions on this thing i'm really impressed with how well they built this thing um saying first i wish i would have got the titanium version there are multiple um versions of this clone uh they have anodized titanium they have stainless steel like this one and then they also have um the just regular kind of grayish looking titanium which i would have got because it definitely would have made this knife a lot more um, ergonomic and a lot more balanced now going into this thing i knew that it was going to be heavy just not this heavy it is 10.5 ounces so it definitely is very very heavy and very unbalanced now it fits well in the hand surprisingly you know i didn't really feel i didn't really uh think it was going to fit well in the hand just because of how crazy these scales are but um it does fit well in the hand but as i said it is very um very very heavy so that is an issue for me but it's not going to stop me from using this thing i have used this for the past couple of days and it has performed pretty well um, surprisingly, this thing does fly open pretty crazy and very, very smooth, which is very nice. You can see how fast that just went down right there. It flies out very nice. Centering is not too bad at all on this thing. And like I said, I have used this, so it is, um, been played with. Um, blade play is non-existent. Probably the one of the, t um, tightest lockups on here, um, that I've had. Uh, lockup on the lock bar is a very, very early lockup on there. Very nice. And the only issue I have is that it is heavy and I am having a little bit of issue of sticky lock bar, but it's, um, it's not as bad as, uh, as if you guys watch my line still video, it's not that bad as that one. So it's not killing my thumb to push this over. So it's really not that big of a deal at the moment, but I'll show you guys what I mean right here. If you guys can, uh, hear the click on there, you can hear that click. So it's not that bad, but it, uh, still is an issue, but that's what you're going to get for a $36, uh, clone um the regular or the uh real decepticon i think you can probably get from maybe 700 to 1200 sometimes i'm probably more or less uh on the higher side of those numbers but um i wanted to see what it would feel like in the hand that's pretty much what i got it i love the design of this i love the uh inner layered scales i love how that looks on there i'm probably going to play around with this thing take it apart and um see if I can do some anodizing on the inside because I'm pretty sure that these are two separate layers of scales so they'll both come apart so you can anodize one and keep the other one the same color so it will be um, a pretty cool looking knife after that instead of this like plain Jane uh, stainless steel on there but overall very impressed with this knife um, love how it uh, flies open I'm really uh, surprised on that and um, usually on clones I have to take them apart pretty much as soon as I get them put some Loctite in there uh, to make sure it doesn't loosen up and uh, also put some grease in the um, pivot but I have not yet had to do that with this it's very smooth and um, it has not uh, loosened up at all like I said the blade play is non-existent so very impressed with the overall design this is a uh, tip up carry right hand carry only so that's not that big of a deal like I said uh, whatever way the knife comes uh, tip up or tip down it doesn't really matter to me I'll carry it uh, either way it comes I don't really have a preference for it, but overall, very impressed with this knife. I definitely recommend um, the Decepticon. I would not de recommend the uh, stainless steel version just because it is very unbalanced and probably a lot of people are not going to like um, how unbalanced and how uh, weird it kind of feels in the hand once you first get it. Um, but definitely would uh, recommend the titanium version for sure, and I might actually just get the titanium version um, also. So... Let's go into some specifications here. Overall length of this thing is 9.12 inches. Blade length is 3.84 inches. And the blade material is something I've never heard before. Um, it is a Chinese steel, and I'm surprised that they actually put the real steel on here instead of saying it's D2 or S35VN or S30V or whatever they keep uh, imitating, uh, saying that it is a certain steel when it's really not. Um, this one is 5CR15 MOV steel, which is that shiny steel such as the 8CR13 MOV steel that you get on the uh, Spyderco knives that are made in China. So overall, it's been holding an edge pretty well. I have been using it quite extensively throughout the uh, week, and it has been uh, performing quite well. 
and has not dulled at all yet. So I'm pretty impressed with the uh, with the uh, blade on there. Not too bad at all. Hopefully it lasts uh, longer than some other ones. Um, but all, all I got to do is just sharpen it back up. So it's really not that big of a deal. Like I said, with the handles, they are stainless steel and it is very heavy. Pocket clip is also stainless steel. And this is a flipper with a liner lock. So not too bad at all. Very impressed with it. Definitely would recommend the titanium version over the stainless steel. But as I said, it's your guys' choice whether you uh, like the heaviness of a blade or you like uh, lighter blades. Whatever one, I definitely recommend this thing because for $36 or $120 for the titanium version is not too bad at all. So as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.